Welcome to the first official video of the Hound Lab channel and Project Die Hard. Today we're going to be working on setting the initial timing on this Daihatsu Rocky 1.6 liter. Setting everything up at top dead center. See our crank gear here. Here's the keyway. Top gear above that. You want it to be pointed directly straight at this casting mark here. Secondarily, you'll notice this casting mark right here, stamped into the gear. It's going to be pointed. Let's see if I can get the angle here for you. Here we go. You want the center of that gear to be pointed directly at this corner of this casting here. I've already replaced the tensioner pulley here while we had this off. It's a good idea, and it's also loosened it. You want to pull it back as far as you can, re-tighten it so it's out of the way for the next process. Moving on to the cam gear. See a stamped F at the top. You also see the uh, key here, the locating pin in the cam gear. So the F, you want this gear right here pointed directly up the casting mark here. Also secondarily, you see the other casting mark here. You want it to be exactly level with the plane of the top of the head here. Now, I have a Gates belt, new belt for this. What I want to attempt to do is keep this marking here on the top, right on that top. So I want to place it on here. I'm going to hold this in place. I'm going to work it down the right side, keeping tension all the way down to the crank gear. So we want that side to be tight on the right and then slowly work it on and around the tensioner. Take a little time to press everything on. It is a little bit tight. That's okay as we want to make sure that we have all the slack out of the right side. Once you get it pressed on evenly around our tensioner. Now with the 14 to take the tension off of the tensioner pulley. And after you do that be a good idea to double check to make sure you haven't moved anything in the process. The cam isn't that easy to move, but you may find that the uh, crankshaft pulley, when it's a top dead center, may want to shift a little bit. So just recheck everything. Make sure you haven't gone too far with the movements there and everything is still lined up as it's meant to be. Once this tensioner is over, Go ahead and tighten it back up. There you have it. That's setting the initial timing when you're replacing the timing belt on the Dahatsu Rocky. Stay tuned for more of this Project Rocky. It's going to be fun.